Hello, this is Jackie. In this video, let's watch The Revenge of a Single Mother, A Good Woman is Hard to Find. Sarah was the mother of two children. Her husband was killed not long ago. Her six-year-old son witnessed the tragedy and suffered from aphasia due to excessive shock. Since then, Sarah had been alone with her two young children. Due to financial constraints, she could only choose some cheap food every time she went to the supermarket. A male clerk in the supermarket knew that Sarah was a single mother. He often treated her frivolously and unkindly. Sarah disgusted him but her weak personality made her choose to swallow the pill. Because Sarah and her husband lived in a drug-ridden area and her husband also had a criminal record, the police closed the case hastily with the conclusion that he fought with the drug dealers to death. Sarah firmly believed that her husband would not sell drugs. She hoped the police could arrest the murderer. But when she came to the police station to ask about the case, the police advised her not to cause any trouble. Sarah could do nothing but kept silent. Her mother had always opposed Sarah's marriage. Sarah thought her mother expected from her too much. Now her mother saw her daughter was having a bad time, she said that Sarah and the child should move back to live with her. But Sarah was stubborn to prove that her choice was not wrong. No matter how hard the days are, I don't want to bow my head to accept the help drug trade could be seen everywhere in Sarah's area. A little gangster named Tito secretly observed that two drug dealers always put drugs in the trunk. So he got the idea of stealing these drugs. Tito stole a car on time one day, then he slammed the accelerator and hit the drug dealer's car from the side. Before the vendors react, Tiro had grabbed the drug and ran away. He broke into Sarah's house, who had just entered the door while rushing away. And Sarah dared not show up to the uninvited guests. Fortunately, after Tito saw the dealer go away he left through the back door of the kitchen. Sarah took a long breath, but her troubles had just begun. Tony came back that night. He threatened Sarah to open the back door. As soon as he entered the door, he went straight to the bathroom and took out the drugs. Sarah didn't want to get involved and let Tito take his things and leave quickly. But Tito thought hiding the drugs in Sarah's house was the safest way. He also said he would not let Sarah ask for any help. Every time he sold a small amount of drug, he would give Sarah a share. Sarah dared not ask for this black money, she just hoped Tito could leave soon. Seeing her softness, Tito showed his knife. In order to keep the children not harmed, Sarah could only compromise to help hide the drug. Tito came again the next night and brought a lot of snacks. He seemed to be at his home and chatted casually with Sarah. Sarah saw that this person was not so bad, so she took the opportunity to inquire about her husband. But Tito had never heard of this person. Sarah asked him about Tito's escape yesterday. She thought Tito was hiding from the police. It turned out that Tito stole the drugs from the boss, Leo. Sarah was afraid of getting into trouble, so she begged Tito not to come again. Tito used the old way to make Sarah compromise again. Sarah couldn't swim in this mud puddle. She simply used the money Tito gave her to improve her life. She went to the bathroom at night, curiously took out the drugs from the bathtub, and took a look. At this moment, there was a child's voice calling her outside. Sarah didn't close the lid properly when she hurried away. She didn't pay attention that her son took out the small drug package as a toy. Relieved that her son didn't take the drug, Sarah just took care of the children. Tito was back again. Sarah was afraid of Tito's anger at the child, so she didn't open the door in time. Tito rushed in impatiently, looking at the broken glass. Then he saw the baby whose wine fell on the ground. Sarah begged Tito to calm down. After all, as it was the child's fault, she would try her best to compensate. Seeing Sarah was so weak, Tito wanted to rape her. Sarah was also a chaste woman. When struggling, she grabbed a knife on the table and stabbed Tito's stomach. Seeing Tito falling to the ground with blood, Sarah realized that she had killed someone. The two children kept knocking on the door outside when they heard the sound in the room. Sarah changed her clothes and walked out. She coaxed the children into another room to watch cartoons. Just when Sarah didn't know what to do with the body, the police came suddenly. It turned out that someone heard the yelling and called the police. Tito's body was standing upright in the bedroom. The police went straight to the kitchen and saw the door glass and asked Sarah if there was anything else she needed to report. Sarah's mind kept flashing images of Tito being stabbed to death. In the end, she chose to hide the truth. The police saw Sarah in such disheveled clothes, just reminded her to pay attention to her behavior toward her children. Sarah angrily drove the police out. To deal with the corpse, Sarah sent the baby to her mother's house. She lied that she was going to do a part-time job at night. Her mother was worried when she saw Sarah's mental condition was very bad. Unexpectedly, the mother and daughter ended up in a quarrel again. Leo went through many inquiries and finally knew that the person who snatched his drugs was Tito. They couldn't find him, so he arrested the two bastards who lived with Tito and asked them harshly. In all honesty, the two gangsters really didn't know where Tito was and they got vented by Leo. At the same time, Sarah bought an axe and a hacksaw to dismember Tito's body. She found a gun in Tito's pocket and put it away. 
but the actual implementation of the corpse was more difficult than imagined. Sarah knew she had no way out. She could only suppress old fears with new fears. Suffocating nausea, the corpse was finally dismembered. This day was the day to make an appointment to treat her son's aphasia. When leaving the hospital, the four-year-old daughter suddenly read Tito's name. It happened that Leo who was bandaged in the hospital heard it. Leo learned about Sarah's place, then he sent two men nearby and waited for Tito to show up. At night, Sarah quietly scattered the corpses into different trash cans. After dawn, she ran out nervously. She felt a little relieved seeing the garbage being taken away. At this time, she found two vendors not far away. So she immediately ran out of the back door with the children. Unexpectedly, she was blocked by the men. Leo arrived immediately. When the little boy turned his head, he recognized that this man was the one who killed his father. Shocked in horror, he suddenly ran to the road. Fortunately, the garbage truck stopped in time and it did not cause any tragedy. The sanitation workers saw three men were surrounding one woman with her two children. But they were beaten up by Leo. Sarah took the child to escape and went to her mother's house. She confirmed from her son that the murderer of her husband was Leo. She couldn't calm down anymore. But after experiencing these things, she was also a mother. She suddenly understood her mother's worries. Although the way of her expressing love lacked softness, her mother's love for her was beyond doubt. Sarah and her mother open up and finally eliminated the gap between the two. What made Sarah even happier was her son was finally willing to speak. But what Sarah didn't expect was Leo unexpectedly found her mother's place here. She was afraid to fight, but she was no longer weak. She promised to take Tito to Leo's bar within an hour. Then Sarah changed her image. She put on red lipstick and became the nemesis. She took a bag and came to Leo's office in the bar. Leo was very annoyed not to see Tito. What surprised him was that Sarah took out Tito's head from her bag. Leo and two of his men were stunned on the spot. They didn't expect Sarah who looked so weak to be so crazy. Then Sarah asked whether Leo still remembered a man named Stephen. Learned that Stephen was Sarah's husband, Leo realized that Sarah was here to seek revenge. Sarah immediately pulled out a gun from Tito's head when she saw Leo's posture. There was no such thing as a stop moving preface. The two men died off guard. When Leo reacted to pick up the gun, Sarah had already targeted him in advance. Sarah asked why he killed her husband. Leo said it was because Sarah's father-in-law was too good and was a nosy person. Sarah was very pleased that she did not think wrong of her husband. Leo who wanted to fight back finally died. Before leaving, she didn't forget to take the surveillance video. It can be said she was very professional. After the incident, the police combined the corpses found in the waste collection center. It was decided that this case was a murder case among gangs. When Sarah brought her children to the supermarket, the male clerk came up again and said rudely. But Sarah, who killed four people in a row, didn't remove her makeup and appeared with the queen aura that made the clerk flustered. Sarah's life was brighter now, but I think, there is not only one person like Leo, there are many more in this community. Well, this video ends here. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, see you next time.